Ruenza School have talked about protection as being one of the key themes in their new collection. Well, they do say the best defense is a good offense, and this show came on super strong. We started with this idea of protection and escape, in a way. We started researching all these different martial arts, kendo and fencing and karate, and these clothes that kind of envelop you and are really double-breasted and things that kind of wrap. It's just a different way to sort of protect ourselves from like the evil bad world. Everything's about angularity. The body's almost being obliterated. It's about movement, it's not about the form. The whole kimono, but the way they work the kimono, it's very modern. The embroidery, the whole the quilted, this navy and black jacket with the fur and collar, it's stunning. We wanted a slouch, we wanted an ease to everything. We wanted everything like a bit more dropped, especially after last season where everything was kind of pinned up and wasted and a little more lady. It's like a tough girl, chic, but like really cool. Very stylish, but still had a little girl element, which is kind of nice. They're very, very good with craft. Playing around with materials, cutting, pushing. You can tell they've looked at a lot of art the basket weaving. That was taken from Bhutan. We were in Bhutan recently. We just kind of found all these really cool baskets, actually. They're all like wicker and fur. We thought they'd make really cool skirts. So we're like, let's try to make those baskets out of leathers and fur. The next thing you knew, we were making dresses and jackets and coats and tops and everything. Kind of imperial towards the end with the gilding. But yeah, we developed all these brocades from scratch. We've always wanted to play with brocades, but we've never really done in the past. And this seemed like the perfect kind of collection to go there. They really are inventive, and they have this amazing combination of cool and hipsterness without it choking their fashionness. Sometimes when there's too much hipster, there's almost kind of anti-fashion, but they're clearly in love with it. And you kind of feel the power of two. It's like they're pushing each other.